fifth still. Let's go yeah. back. Guitar maker. Have you heard of Osvaldo and Maria Bragan in Buenos Aires? No. The makers? Yeah. Okay. Really, really great makers. Um, they are my. They made a guitar for me, which is a guitar I used for like 15 years. Um, they always, although they don't like the sound of it, they always advocated carbon fiber, um, carbon strings on a new guitar, just because it helped to make the soundboard vibrate. It just accelerated that break-in period. Okay. And then they said later, after six months, then go back to nylon. But it's, and and it always stuck with me that actually it seemed like a sensible thing to do. Yeah, I in fact. Moscardini, he's an Argentinian, writes fantastic music. I um, met him for the first time in February um, and uh, I played a load of his pieces at the Barrios Festival in Paraguay because they like to not just play Barrios and, and because he's a contemporary composer right. I played a set of pieces by him Good. and uh, it's great and actually do you know what he said he said uh, he goes it never ceases to amaze me how far my music goes he said for me the thought that someone is in London playing my music, he said, it just, it baffles me that, because he's a proper gaucho, like, oh, okay. you know, and um, they're real Argentinians, but yeah, he writes fantastic music, really nice stuff. And it was funny because I haven't played it in a little while because I've been focusing on all this Barrios, but as soon as I picked up this instrument, I found myself thinking, oh, I need to play something new on it, you know, and actually, you know, lovely big open chords and that it suits this kind of instrument doesn't it lovely jazz chords Roland Dienz did a few. Yeah, he did a few, yeah. Roland, yeah. It's a shame he smoked himself. Yeah. He played San Jose twice, he said it. Julian Bream's last dog was called Django. <laughs> cool. Julian Bream's favourite guitarist was Django Reinhardt. He was, yeah. It was just, he was God. Do you ever hear that story where Segovia and Django played a house party together? 
Smith. And Django finishes his set and he goes, where'd you get those transcriptions? He goes, I just made it up. He said it to Django? Yeah, Django he, said that to Segovia. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a, I heard the story 30 years ago. I don't know where the two of them were supposed to have played together. There's a picture in my book of Segovia sitting in front of uh, Marshall Amplifiers because he did a concert where uh, Jimi Hendrix played. Jimi Hendrix played and Segovia. At the same theater. <laughs> so here's, yeah, there's a photo. Uh, one of my students who's a teacher now, guy got his master's degree 20 years ago and uh, he's got his own studio with other teachers, guitar, non-guitar. He's got, I don't know, 12 teachers or something couple miles away from here, Campbell Community Center. And so he sent me the photo and the email. I went, whoa, it's so, it's so funny because you see Segovia there with the Marshall Amps yeah. behind him. That's and, ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Everybody played Garcia's. I mean, you're going to see all the stuff I got in my book. You I know, can't wait, yeah. Julio Segreras, yeah, the Garcia, 1917 sheet music cover with him holding a Garcia just like I got here. Uh, like the one in the center with the Taurus headstock and Gitar and Garcia vertically on the sides of the photo. sound like a Taurus with the big inlays yeah, on the that's, bridge. Uh, that's the one that, that, that's a Christian Omar taught teachers how to make guitars, which you have to do again. It's got a great sound. Does it? That can I try it? Most of the other Christian Omars that you see on the other one. be any other guitars that will in 10 15 years people will be saying oh, I wish I bought those when I could when they were affordable well I'm quoting 80k to anybody interested <laughs> in the demand because that's the market value. but how much more can it go up oh uh, houses used to be 50 60,000 Hauser ones yeah well my buddy Jim bought one for 42 5 20 years ago now they're 150k even pristine housers, no repairs, no cracks, all original varnish, no monkey business with it, 250000 They're new, though. Christine, she's making now, isn't no, she? No, 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 I'm talking about a Hauser 1. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. 